An ecosystem is a place where interaction among living and non-living things occur. Example of an ecosystem is rotten log, forest, grassland, and even schoolyard. In this module, you will learn the interaction between living and non-living things in estuaries and intertidal zones. What are intertidal zones and estuaries? Intertidal zones are exposed to air during low tide and submerged or covered with water during high tide. These are home to many kinds of marine animals and birds. The daily changes in the tides play a major role to the life of living things in this area. Estuaries. These are the places near the coast where seawater and fresh water mixes and are called nurseries of the seas because there are many organisms reproduced in these areas. What are the biotic factors or non-living factors in an intertidal zone and estuaries? Abiotic factors or non-living factors in an intertidal zones and estuaries are waves, salinity, temperature, amount of sunlight, and type of soil. Waves refer to the movement of the surface of water. These are strong forces that organisms must learn to live with. Kelp and kind of algae has strong root like structures that attach itself to rocks to keep it from being carried away by the waves. Salinity refers to the amount of salt in water. Mangroves and blue crabs have adjusted well to the constant changing salinity of water due to the continuous flow of fresh water and salt water through the estuary. Temperature refers to the level of hotness or coldness of water. It changes because of the tides and amount of sunlight. Some organisms use plants like mangroves to keep themselves hidden from direct sunlight or away from the coldness of water. Since the intertidal zones and estuaries are shallow as compared to the seas, they are also conducive for photosynthesis to take place. Algae, seaweed, seagrasses, and other marine plants depend on the amount of sunlight that they receive in the estuaries. What are the biotic factors or living factors in an intertidal zones and estuaries? Biotic or living factors in an ecosystem such as intertidal zones and estuary are composed of all plants, animals, and microorganisms living in it. These organisms live in different habitats found in intertidal zones and estuaries. This includes coral reefs, salt marshes, mud flats, rocky shores, and mangrove forests. Coral reefs are areas of estuaries which are part of subtidal zone where biodiversity is rich. Biodiversity refers to the abundance of different living organisms living in the area. Coral reefs provide shelter to the thousands of fish. The coral themselves are animals that feed on plankton 
These corals form reefs that protect the coast from the strong waves and currents. Salt marshes are areas in the estuary that are filled with seawater during high tides and are drained during low tide. The changing levels of waters in the coastal areas is referred to as tides. Salt marshes are marshy because they are filled with decomposing plant matter. Organisms found in salt marshes are clams, mussels, oysters, crabs, snails, and shrimps. Plants found in salt marshes are sea grasses and other plants that are tolerant to salt water. Mud flats or tidal flats are areas in estuaries where mud from seas or rivers is deposited. They are usually the area for migratory birds, crabs, and dollars, mussels, clams, mollocks, shellfish, and some fish, algae like sea lettuce and sea spaghetti, provide food for the herbivores in this area. Rocky shores are areas in estuaries where solid rocks are found. Animals found in the rocky shores are plankton, brittle stars, starfish, hermit crab, barnacles, limpets, mollocks, periwinkle, shore crab, shrimp, prawns. Large predators in the rocky shores are fish and migratory birds. Mangrove forests are areas in the history that are filled with mangrove trees. These trees have adapted to salt water. These areas are breeding grounds for different kinds of fish and shellfish. Other organisms found in the mangrove ecosystem are algae, binacles, oysters, shrimp, lobsters, and crabs. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos update. Thank you. This is Sir Boyan.